Well, when you're getting ready for a backpacking trip, whether it's for just one night or a weekend or longer, there are obviously a lot of things you need to take with you. You have a lot of stuff to carry with you and only a little amount of space in which to carry it. And you might think that it doesn't matter how you fit everything into your pack, because as long as it all gets in there, it's good. But that's not quite the case. The way you distribute the weight within your pack actually goes a really long way in determining how comfortable you are and how it sits on your body. You probably noticed, either on yourself or other people, when they're wearing a fully loaded pack, you bend forward a little bit more than usual, which is perfectly normal. It's how your body uh, repositions that weight and makes sure that it stays over your center of gravity, which is your hips. But there is a limit to how far forward this bend should be. People shouldn't think that they need to call you an ambulance. Uh, it should just be very natural. If you notice that you are leaning too far forward, it just means that things aren't packed quite right, so let's fix that. Most full-size backpacks have a separate compartment on the bottom. This is for your sleeping bag. Use it. Then you want to get your heavier items. Food, the meals, not the snacks, fuel, anything heavier. These should go against the back panel. If you're using a hydration reservoir for your water, slide that into the sleeve first and then put everything else in. Um, otherwise, your water bottles can just go on the outside. Having the heavier items closer to your body keeps them from pulling you backwards while you're hiking and helps keep you perfectly balanced. Now, take the rest of the things that you won't need until the end of the day, uh, your tent, your clothes, anything else, and fill in the rest of the space in the pack. If there isn't enough space for a tent and the poles inside, just put the tent in. The poles will slide under the compression straps really nicely. If you're using a bulky closed cell foam pad, there's straps on the bottom outside that you can strap those onto. It doesn't affect your balance, doesn't pull you backwards. It's what they're there for. And at this point, you should only have the smaller things left that you're gonna want to have easy access to throughout the day. Things like your snacks or your GPS or your book or your map. And before you set out on your journey, you should make some time to do a test run. You wouldn't head out on Saturday with boots that you just bought Friday night. So load it up, put it on, go for a short hike, make sure everything's okay. If you notice anything needs to be adjusted, it's a lot easier to do that in your living room than on the trail. So I hope you learned something today about how to properly pack your pack and I hope you have an awesome next trip.